Jesus is not Michael the Archangel. You're following heresy. It's written in the book of Hebrews chapter 1. To which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. So to which of the angels said he that at any time? Leave the cult to which of the angels said he at any time sit at my right hand. This is very simple. Today is your opportunity. Walk away. You're digging a pit you're going to fall into. The Apostle Paul teaches that the Lord himself will come down from heaven with the voice of the archangel. The Lord himself, Jesus Christ, is distinct from the archangel. Michael the archangel is one of the chief princes, one of. Whereas Jesus Christ has a name higher than any angel. Jesus Christ took over in heaven in an immortal body in the first century. The Watchtower teaches a cult heresy that this had to wait until the 20th century. This is way off. Leave sin. You're being lied to. Jesus Christ is the first and the last. In the prophet Zechariah chapter 2, the Yehovah says that he will come. And Jehovah says that he will be sent by someone named Jehovah. There's only one name. But nowhere do you read in the Word of God that one person only has this name. Rather, the prophet Zechariah, he wrote of multiple persons having this name. Unitarianism is a lie. Repent. You go over to the next chapter of Zechariah, you'll see in your cult Bible. They marred the text. For their messenger of Jehovah is called Jehovah. The very messenger of Jehovah is named Jehovah. And it couldn't be more precise because they rebukes Satan in the name of Jehovah. It's just about math at this point. The Holy Ghost also is a witness unto us. After he had said before, see, if you think a witness is just a mere power, you're not using common sense.
that he will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. For the Apostle John writes, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. You see, they set you up to fail because they lied to you about hell. So they're taking away the severity it's making you too lackadaisical. The Bible says you must seek the Lord with all your strength. You need to seek Jesus Christ. Do not follow a false God that tells you to seek everything that you have with everything that you have to a created being. You're just being set up to fail. Jesus Christ went back into his body. The grave, the tomb was empty. You reject the resurrection from the dead which is a principle of the doctrine of Jesus Christ. There's no salvation, there's no hope for such a person in that state. And there's no soul sleep. Jesus Christ proclaimed to the spirits in prison, repent. For it's written in Hebrews that he took not upon himself the nature of angels, but that the seed of Abraham. So he cannot be an angel, nor was there any appearance that he was an angel. But rather they handled the word of life. How can a created being be born king of the Jews? Why would Jehovah have all the angels of God worship him as a baby? Why would Jehovah share his glory with another? Because the Son of God is fully God. For it says in the prophet Zechariah 13, verse 7, about the smiting of the shepherd, the man who is my fellow. The Father of Jesus Christ calls Jesus Lord. Thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth. The heavens are the work of thy hands. Jehovah is the shepherd. You follow the text and you follow the rules of the Greek language. Jesus Christ is the only Lord God of Jude 1, 3 through 4. That's it. So when Michael the archangel rebukes Satan in the name of the Lord, he rebuked in the name that Jesus has. So Jesus Christ cannot be Michael the archangel. Leave cult brainwashing.
Abraham saw Jehovah. No man has seen the Father. It's just about logical deduction. No created being in the right mind would say, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. No created being would say, you must honor me as you honor the Father. That would be blasphemy. The rich man, he was in the torment. He had a conversation with Abraham. There's not a, only a pain to hell, there's speaking in hell. Leave sin. The Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape. Why would a mere power descend in a bodily shape? It doesn't make any sense. And Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. There's got to be a difference. That Jesus Christ, he receives from the Father and the Holy Ghost receives from Jesus. Why does a mere power receive something from a person? It is just a waste of time. Why does the Father give something to Jesus and take it back? The Holy Ghost is another comforter, another advocate. You take a straight reading of Romans 8, there's two intercessors to the Father. They just read it. You need to leave the lies. Jesus Christ was made heir of all things in the first century. Jesus Christ warned and he told them beforehand, do not let anyone say to you, lo here, lo there. That we've been told to believe you not. For Jesus Christ did not return when you say so. It's clearly a lie. It says all eyes shall see him. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. And 1 John 5.20 teaches that Jesus Christ is the true God. And there is no other life but in God. So then therefore the saying is true that all the fullness of the Godhead bodily is in Jesus Christ, was, is, and is to come. If all things are made by someone, he himself is not made. 
This is about reasoning. Jesus Christ is the very image of God. The express image. Character of the person of the Father. If Jesus Christ is not fully God, there's a doctrine of confusion that the created being that you say gives an express image of the uncreated. Who being the brightness of his glory, how can a created being be this brightness? How can a created being be that bright? Jehovah cannot create Jehovah. And all these false teachings of lesser gods and authority and all of this, it just breeds a polytheism as idolatry. That men worship Jesus Christ. And this puts you in a very bad position because is it the watchtower that once believed that? And then retracted. Is it not true? So will you give your life to Jesus Christ today and repent? Leave sin. You have to leave all your personal sins too. You were not born a sinner. Jesus Christ came into the same flesh. No angel can become a man. Through 66 books of the Bible, not one time an archangel, a cherubim, a seraphim, a ministering spirit came into the flesh. It was made in the likeness of men. Not one time. But Jehovah said that he will dwell in the midst of them. You got to ask the question why your God had to create someone to be tortured. Doesn't make sense. You can't make sense of it. Rather, if Jehovah comes and does it himself, he has left you with no excuse. Jesus Christ had infirmities. Only a cult would rob him of his obedience to say he did not have infirmities. Jesus Christ is the King of Israel. For it's written, Thus saith the Lord God, King of Israel. Why didn't Nathaniel call Jesus Christ the King of Israel? The Son of God is the King of Israel. As well, the Unitarians have more problems. Melchizedek is a divine being he has no father he has no mother he has no beginning he's a high priest to the most high god so he's not created so he's god he's fully god so it's over there it's done if you're a Unitarian, you can't believe what the Bible says. So you need to repent, you need to leave. You're doing the door keeping for Satan. Give it up. 
I tell you because I care about you. You don't know how much more time you have. God has given you this opportunity. You don't have a single answer for all of these things. There's none. In fact, you see how pitiful God is that people reason with you. There's not that many that do, but people reason with you. Wallace, you're leading people to hellfire. Who could possibly believe that Satan will not be tormented for eternity? The smoke of his torment will ascend up forever and ever. And like matter those that follow Satan. Is what it says. So just believe it. Avoid it. Avoid the place. I mean, if you choose to go, you choose it. It's a choice. Leave sin. <laughs>